All right, we're here. It's <clears throat> clinical trial research follow-up day. We're gonna meet with uh, your doctor's team and then um, be cleared. Your oncology team. Yeah, and then cleared for another round of hopefully testing. Um, well, they can't deny you today because you're not getting blood drawn. So it's just a checkup to see how you're doing. And then um, EKGs and taking the pill. So we're hoping for not too long of a day. We'll see. We have to um, only do two things today. So. Well, we have to do doctor, clinical trial nurse, clinical trial building, um, clinical trial stuff. <laughs> so three. What? Um, and then we'll uh, follow up with you guys. You feeling okay? Yeah, I just want to go back to bed. Yeah, you're tired. I fell asleep on the way here. And it felt really nice. Yeah. So we got a sleepy girl, and we got our stuff packed. Let me get your chariot, and then we'll go. <laughs> love hey. you. Thanks, Annie. I love you. We are outside, enjoying the fresh air, outside of our... Clinical trial. Clinical trial building. building. Um, we got approved for another day of testing and blood work and taking your pill under their supervision. They said it should be about a two hour appointment, one EKG, blood work, two hours. We've already been here about an hour. Yeah. And, um,. Mm, lip balm. A good thing about it being busy is that we get to sit outside with the fresh air. Mm -hmm. it's such beautiful air today. And then, um, bad side is it's gonna take longer. But not too bad, right? Yeah. I think we'll get out of here in a couple hours. I would like us to cuddle in your room. You might not get a room today. I don't know. Uh -huh. We'll see. It's so busy. Yeah, and that's okay. I think if they offer, you say no thanks, because the quicker we get you out of here, okay, whatever. It's up to you. Okay. Um. So we're gonna go do that, and then hopefully we get out of here in time to um see the kids. And Jenny has requested to take a nap. Um, I have a. Um, Special dinner on the menu what? tonight. Mashed potatoes, asparagus, uh, and then some vegan Beyond steak um, with A1 sauce. Uh, sounds good. Because you usually like home cooking on these days, so I saved it for today. I do, it makes me feel better. Yeah. Because I'm scared on these days. Yeah. So we'll have some home cooking and go from there. Yeah, it's probably really loud. We'll wait to film in there. We've done one round of EKGs and now we wait two hours. And then one more round and then you're out. Good night. Take a nap. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Won't you be my neighbor? We took a two hour nap in the bed together. So nice. And now we have to go. Did you get a shot of us sleeping? No. Oh man. Yes. But we got a nice shot right before we went to sleep. Oh, we did? Well, yeah, I guess you couldn't get it if you were sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that. Let's go. Hello, everyone. It is the next day. Um, it's 
like one. And we have fluids hooked up to my port, which helped me a lot, so I'm very grateful for them. My appetite has been going up. I don't know if that's part of it or if my appetite is just going up, but I'm doing all right. We didn't close out yesterday because my sister and brother-in-law and niece and nephew came over. We all hung out, it was nice. And I've been finding that I need to like zone out in mindless TV or stuff like that because my anxiety has been so high lately. We don't know if my new clinical trial causes more anxiety or if it's just I have more anxiety because of um, the post-traumatic stress disorder stuff that I'm going through with um, everything I've gone through treatment-wise. So we're not sure which one it is, but um, there's no, my, the clinical trial doesn't show anyone else reporting it, but I'm continuing to report that I have more anxiety with it. Just in case someone else reports it, then they know that I do too. Um, but I started watching Sister Wives last night and that was fun just to shut off my mind and watch a show that, you know, doesn't relate to me in any way because then my anxiety went down. Um, today, Kyle went to, let me see. Today, Kyle took flour to the vet. Tell me if you guys have this problem with A, your pugs, or B, your dogs, <laughs> or pets. He went to get her anal glands checked. So growing up, I don't believe we ever had to get our anals, anal, our dog's anal glands checked. They were always like, fine. They took care of their anal glands themselves. I don't know. And then my dogs with my ex-boyfriend and I, we had two dogs together, like kids. And one would get groomed regularly and they took care of his anal glands, Shiloh. And then Audrey, she, my ex-boyfriend would take care of her anal glands. And I'm just not, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> So she would get it from the vet then, or a groomer, and, but Flower, our pug, she never had any anal gland treatments, so I didn't think about it really with her, just because I've never, it's foreign to me to just instantly set up a dog with anal gland, set, um, gland appointments. Sorry if this is gross. My channel tends to be kind of gross, but at least it's not about me right now. Um, so she went to the vet. Kyle said she keeps biting her tail, like twisting to catch her tail, but it doesn't look like it's a fun game. And she had fleas in the summer, but they're gone. And she, Jen complains that she leaks anal juices onto her. So when flowers sitting on me, I'll get like, I smell the smell, and then I look down, and flower will turn, make a U-turn, start sniffing it like crazy, and licking it, trying to clean it up. And it's like a little tan spot. And it nauseates me beyond belief with like all this treatment and stuff, it makes me so sick. So I asked Kyle, I said, can you take her to the vet? Because I cannot, um, I can't do the, the anal gland on me anymore. So he took her today 
They said, yep, we're 99% sure the reason she's going for her tail is because of her anal glands. Her anal glands are so full. Have you guys ever had them squeezed? We said, no. And they said, okay, just keep an eye out. You'll figure out her regular schedule, kind of like with my lung, how often it needs drained. Um, it may be every four weeks, maybe um, every eight weeks, six weeks, bunch of numbers. Um, so we'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully we figure out her anal, anal glands and have her set up for a regularly scheduled drainage. And then we will be good. But I'm here to say goodbye because I need to edit this video and upload it. I don't know if much happened in this one. I don't think much did, but I appreciate you guys coming along. It truly means so much to me. Oh, when my, my nurse came today to set me up with the fluids, I started doing too much. I, first of all, she came and our ring doorbell wasn't charged. So I didn't hear the doorbell. I just saw a shadow there. So I jumped up like I shouldn't. You know, when you you have health issues, you, you have to get up slowly and whatnot. I jumped up because I felt bad. Like, oh no, how long has she been standing here waiting? And then I let her in and I said, oh, hang on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go change a little bit so I have easier access to my port. So I bent down to unhook my oxygen I was on. Then I went to the room. Um, was bending down looking for slippers. Then I blocked the closet doors from being able to open with slippers. So then I was bending down trying to unclog the closet door so I could get a flannel. <laughs> and I couldn't. And I'm feeling like I can't breathe the more I'm doing this. And I finally just squ squeezed my arm in and grab a sweater and put it on. And then I'm sitting here with my nurse and I'm just huffing and puffing. She's just asking me sweet little nothing questions and not sweet little nothing questions. I don't know what that means. Just like nothing serious, nothing medical crazy. Just like how did the days between her visits go? Little questions and I couldn't even answer him. I was like so out of breath. So I asked her to please wait. She was so nice and waiting. And I started panicking. Um, I didn't tell her, but I was starting to have a panic attack um, because I was thinking I was gonna be done breathing in that moment for the rest of my life. Why? Why am I like this? I don't know why I convinced myself I'm gonna be done breathing in that moment in time. And I truly believe it. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm done breathing. This is it, it's stopping, I feel it stopping. That weird cry thing is from my cancer. It's done it since forever. I just wish it wasn't like this. So I called Kyle and asked him to come home from the vet anal leakage appointment. I, I asked, can they take care of her anal glands while you come home and help me out and, and so I'm until I'm settled in and then and then go back and he said yeah so he came and I mean I was in great hands to be having a panic attack if I thought I was gonna die right then which wasn't dawning on me but then finally once it dawned on me I started to calm down a little better and um, Kyle came home he gave me an anxiety pill and I started to calm down and all was well after that. Then I had heartburn from my meds. So it, he's back from the pug world after that and my nurse is gone, but he is back 
and says that he's gonna go get me Tums because I have heartburn after that. And so I called my dad and cried to my dad. And he's always great to talk to. I love my dad so much. It's, it's you know, hard to cry to people about this stuff because I don't want to put the weight of my sadness onto them and my fears and stuff. But my dad's a really good person for that, in my opinion. Sorry, dad, if that's not fun for you. But he's very strong in his support. He gives me quotes from the Bible that help me feel better and songs. Uh, um, worship songs that make me feel better and tells me lots of examples of how the Bible can relate in real life and it makes me feel better and then he um, knows how to switch it to something else flower so when I'm having an anxiety or a panic attack with Kyle. Did you guys hear that? Flower. We heard that. Flower, flower fart. Flower say, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Those glands are cleared. <laughs> um, but he knows when to change the subject and just talk about something that's not gonna keep us on the subject of the anxiety or panic attack, he'll change it to something else. Like he started changing it to my bathroom. What color do you want to change your bathroom paint color to? And I can do that for you. And I like being able to have someone help me change where my mind is at. And that helps me get out of the panic attack or anxiety attack. So he's perfect for that. Hey, hey man. My boys just got home. There was no one there today, so <laughs> we couldn't we couldn't shoot the breeze. Listen to that beat. That's a great beat. Do it again. Okay. That one? You're Dad? Yeah. That's a great beat, Ellis. Try it again. We did a Halloween tree this year. We've never done it, but uh, recently, since we've got into Disney, we've seen a lot of Disney people do Halloween Christmas trees. So that's what that is there. I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you so much. I appreciate you all so much. And please keep praying and sending love, positive thoughts. They all help me so much and they mean so much. And to the lady who gave me the letter yesterday at treatment, thank you. That meant so much to me. Um, I was going to, I don't know where I put it. I was going to try to email you back um, because you left your email on it. But I don't know where I put it. So thank you for that nice letter. It was very kind of you. And we'll probably see each other around there. Yeah. Because if... That's your typical day and my typical day. We'll probably see each other. So if you see me, say hi. I am so forgetful and um, with the full brain radiation. So, you know, I'd might, I could walk right past you and not even remember. So just remind me if you see me. <laughs> All right, well, 
I will see you guys soon. I love you. I appreciate you all. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>